Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and former Fox News host Megyn Kelly has just shared a heartbreaking video. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, guys, please go to that address in the lower right-hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at Explain America. When you go there, please hit subscribe absolutely free. It really helps us out. Guys, you all remember Megyn Kelly's famous exit from Fox News and all the fanfare and, and controversy that went along with that. Megyn Kelly came out years later and talked about unthinkable harassment that she was subjected to. And, I mean, the proof is in. So there's no denying what happened. Fox News has implemented changes since then, thank God. Thank God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, because, well, that had to be done. And Megyn Kelly, she lived through that. And because of that, she was kind of considered by some to be part of the Me Too movement, which is a title she does not like and actually wants to disassociate herself from. She talked in here in this video, the heartbreaking part is when she was basically saying to somebody, please help me. She didn't want to make it a big case. She didn't want to make national news. She just wanted it to stop. And it's really, really sad to watch this and look at her face when she retells the story because you could see how distraught she is. I want you to watch this video. It's a preview of an upcoming interview she has. Watch it and let me know what you think in the comments. It sounds like the sexual harassment was just running rampant throughout the entire Fox News organization. Is that an accurate assumption? I think it was pretty, pretty common, yeah. I was born uh, in Illinois. My dad was getting his PhD at uh, the University of Illinois. And then before I turned one, we moved to Syracuse, New York. And it just so happened that a gal in my class was a journalist. She was a producer for the NBC o o out in Chicago. I convinced this guy named Bill Lord to put me on the air one day a week on tape while I was still working at Jones Day. If more than 825 students want into this year's prom, the school says they're gonna be out of luck. When did you become aware of all the other women? I didn't want this person, just to be clear, to run Human Resources. I wasn't like, let's make a record, this is inappropriate. I was like, please help me. How did it start with you? I was very young. I was at the very beginning of my career there, still a reporter in DC. And Roger took an interest in me early on. It wasn't all because he wanted to sleep with me. I think he understood he had somebody who was a lawyer and that he really wanted to develop it because above all, he was a capitalist. He wanted to make money. I knew from the second that thing was filed that if I got called in by any investigative body, he was f***ed. That was the goodness of the Me Too movement, but the movement was so disgusting by its end, so corrupted and unjust and devoid of due process and such a witch hunt. Christine Blasey Ford was introduced. You could see the fear in that gulp in her shaking voice. The details that about that night that bring me here today are the ones I will never forget. I don't like being associated with it. I've since become a big fan of cancel culture. It separates you from a place you didn't belong.